person that I mean, how are you doing? All right, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be channeling full moon messages for all signs, so all 12 signs. So, from I'm going to be starting off with Taurus because the full moon is in Taurus. I'm going to consider going now. Nah, let's just do the normal order because I was going to consider going it by elements okay but i'm going to cover all 12 signs in this video okay so make sure you want the readings for your sun your moon and your rising sign you're not just made up of one sign you know you know how it goes okay this full moon in taurus really just feels very joyful yes taurus is all about the self-care the nurturing the abundance the comfort the sustenance you know feeling rich in your body feeling very comfy in your body feeling very comfy in your skin but then this full moon just feels it has this feel good vibes attached to it <laughs> and even though you might be feeling like okay have i done enough am i doing enough I want you to lean back into receiving okay this full moon is all about leaning back into receiving that venetian energy is strong baby all right <laughs> all right so i'm going to be starting up this reading with that much let me give you just before i sat down here i was like all over the place but now i'm here full moon message in terms for all 12 signs okay so make sure you watch the reading for your full moon <laughs> <laughs> for your sun sign, for your moon sign, and your rising sign, okay? You can't just be watching readings for your sun sign. No, your sun sign is just one aspect of who you are. You have your moon sign, which shows you your emotional aspect, and your rising sign, which actually shows you how you're projecting into this world at this time. Okay, let's go into this reading. All right, so I'm starting off with Taurus. Let's see. And this is really going to be maximum two card pools. Like one card, two card pulls. Okay, so I'm starting off with the overall energy what the moon has in store for you, what the moon is bringing in, what the full moon is bringing in. And then, yeah, whenever I say one card, two card pulls, that's when it's preserved. Like, okay, baby, get prepared. We're giving you three cards, five cards. <laughs> All right, but this one card pull for Taurus, you got the truth. Okay, so Taurus, this full moon, you're yeah, really going to be seeing reflections and revelations of the truth. A mirror like truth about yourself the way people actually see you and especially like this is really strong for Taurus rising but all Taurus, Taurus sun moon rising this full moon is going to shine a light on what the truth is the truth you believe about yourself the truth that stems from what you are going to see how your reflection in the external world is really really built on the truth you believe about yourself what you believe about yourself is coming up for examination is coming up for re-evaluation that's also coming through and it's time for you to really really shift some limiting beliefs around what is true for you yeah understanding at this time like okay what is true for me is not necessarily what is true for the other person what is true for the other person is not necessarily what is true for me so this full moon in taurus finds you really really examining what the truth is what the truth is with regards to your desires with regards to your dreams with regards to the things you want for yourself with regards to all you say like with regards to your perception with regards to your desires with regards to your limits whatever limit you feel like you've placed on yourself all of this are stemming from your understanding of what your truth is okay so you might have been thinking your truth is for you to cap out for you to max out at a certain level and this woman is asking you to re-examine that like okay where did that come from what made you think you could not be bigger what made you think you could not become more what made you think you could not attract more what made you feel what made you feel like you could not receive more okay so this form what i'm just really feeling is like the truth is coming to light also truths around your beliefs the things you've been believing the things you've been programmed to believe your belief system literally is coming up for examination like okay why did we believe that why did we think that was the truth what made us think that was the truth and how has this been how is this truth being challenged okay how is this truth being challenged all right but what i feel here yeah, this is really really going to stem up from yourself this form on finds you really like asking questions like okay what's really the truth about the situation why do i believe that things always have to be in this way why have i been programmed to believe that i can only go this way why have i been programmed to think that i can only manifest this way okay and this form is giving you the opportunity to access those truths here 
you guys are going to really really be trying to figure out like okay why have i felt like things can only go this way in the work i do why have i felt like i'm only entitled to, to this much why have i felt like i could only succeed in this line why have i felt like i could only succeed if i was staying in this industry if i was staying in this genre why have i just really limited myself from exploring things out there okay this full moon is really really going to open up give you more insights into the work you're doing and how you should be going about it and also helping you to realize that there's still a lot more like there's that thing of the first thing i had was like you thinking you've maxed out or you've capped out or you thinking like a certain limit or a certain ceiling actually all that you can accomplish or all that can be achieved and this moment is almost like it's waking you up to the truth like you know that's not the maximum that's not the cap it's just what you believed to be the cap that's not the highest position you can attain that's not the highest status you can attain it's just what you believed to be the highest it's just what you believe to be the best that could possibly come out of your situation what i'm saying is like this for me this truth revelation is on one and so it's like the truth you've been telling about your telling to yourself but the truth you've been telling to yourself about your creativity your work your skills how big you can go how well your skills can be appreciated the genres the industries the sectors in which you use your skills and your gifts the kind of activities you can partake in the kind of things you can do and you really just capped it it's like okay this is the maximum i can do and this full money is just coming in to challenge all those truths like okay you know what baby no you are the one that simply capped yourself out from the truth now for some of you also i'm getting like this feeling for a few collective part of this collective the truth around the work you've been doing is coming to light people are going to start seeing like okay this is how much you are actually capable of this is how much you're worth this is how much your work is capable of your work is picking up for itself but even in this collective that your work is picking up for itself the recognition that's coming with it is also it's this was a goal you what i'm hearing like this was this recognition you are receiving at this point it was a goal you set previously and now you're coming to this point and you're experiencing like you know there's still a whole lot more to do it felt like this goal once you attain it to be this but no this goal is even just like the smallest part of all the milestones that still lie ahead for you so this is you now expanding your scope of understanding like okay there's still more out there for me there's still more for me to do there's still more responsibilities for me to take up there's still more creative ideas i'm here to explore there's still more i'm here to do there's still a lot more i'm here to do there's a lot more i'm here to experience there's a lot more i'm here to showcase in terms of my work in terms of what i'm capable of in terms of my skills and what i can do in terms of my work how i show up in my work the creativity i bring to the world all right, so baby, this full moon is just showing you the truth about all your beliefs, especially around just what you're capable of, what you are bound to attract with your work. For some of you, this full moon is going to make you realize like you've actually been undercharging yourself, you've been underbidding yourself, and now it's time to raise things to the next level because there's a lot more that you're capable of that you've previously not allowed yourself to experience because you felt like you had already maxed out, you felt like you had already capped out. You've already felt like you've already hit the ceiling and there was nothing else for you to explore. But now you're realizing there's a whole world out there just waiting for you to give permission to yourself to say, okay, I'm going to go out and try this, okay? All right, so this full moon, I'm also being told to give you like numbers to look out for. So you guys are going to be seeing synchronicities, especially around 2020, 2025, 2021s, as well as 555s. And then also 666, okay? Yeah. All right, my love. That was your reading. If this message resonated, make sure you let me know in the comments. I love you. All right, so moving on to... Who do we have next? Gemini. All right, Gemini. Let's see. What's your message for this full moon in Taurus? <laughs> Gemini, this full moon, even though it's a full moon with illumination, what you are shining light upon is your past, okay? 
So this phone really feels like a dark moon that is asking to go with seeing yourself and embrace your shadows. So this phone moon, you are going to find yourself asking questions and re-examining your past, especially in terms of the feelings you've kept, you've, the feelings you've kept yourself away from experiencing because you're like, okay, that's too much. That's be asking for too much. Or I might be seen as being wild and wanting and just being too much. <laughs> But this full moon is really seeing you stepping into your wild, a mere wicked self, your wildly wicked self. But it's not about being wicked, it's just more about you like embracing all of what makes you you, embracing your shadows, embracing your fears, embracing your traumas, and then converting all of those into beautiful, sweet paths, the paths of your angel, and get you moving. So this full moon finds you confronting your fears around who you are, how you show up, and thinking that people may feel like you're too much, and you're like, okay, so what if I'm too much? Duh. <laughs> okay. This full moon really, really sees you transforming your fears into power, transforming your desires that you've kept back and bringing them to light and saying okay this are going to become my passions i don't care how you see me i don't care how you pursue me i don't care whatever you feel like it is i'm doing and now you probably intimidate you and whatever you think you're trying to project onto me i don't care about all of those shit all i mean is you'll be very 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 wicked <laughs> that word wicked just keeps coming up what i'm saying is wicked and once and like you're just like Okay, if you think I'm too sensual, okay. If you think I'm too sexual, okay. If you feel like I'm this, okay. All of those are just your opinions or your expressions or your projections. And I'm not allow I'm not going to allow that to keep me back from moving forward into my life. So Gemini, this full moon finds you harnessing your darkness. It's like you're yeah, harnessing your darkness. And you're like, okay, baby, let's let's play with this darkness. Let's make magic with this darkness. Let's have fun with this darkness. Let's transform this darkness. And you're not necessarily concerned about transforming it to light. You're yeah, like, this one won't find you. Like, okay, however you take me, see, however you see me, take me like that. Okay, so if you're scared of me, duh. If you're afraid of me, duh. If you feel like I'm too much, duh. But if you feel like my light is, in, is, triggering you to also shine your light i'm hoping you're accepting that but if you feel like i'm too much then that's in your pocket so gemini <laughs> gemini is this full moon in taurus really finds you just being all up in your energy and i love that for you okay you've got the dark moon you've got the dark moon in the past and then for some of you this might also be you what i'm saying is like this is you looking through your past experiences and really calling all your power back to yourself all the people and places and situations that you've previously given your power away to because you felt like okay i don't want them to misperceive me i don't want them to misunderstand me so you played small yeah calling all your power back for some of you might even be calling up your exes from the past like hey nigga guess what Guess who's back in town? No, I'm not back to you. I'm just coming back to show you how, how I've stepped up, how I've bust up. Okay, so there's this thing about you perhaps maybe revisiting old places and you're driving in with your new kind of like stepping up and busting up like, hey, no, you can't reach me again. I'm not I'm no longer on that level. I'm no longer playing on that level. I'm no longer playing spoil. Okay, so Gemini is this form just finds you really, really standing in your power. You're really, really understanding this punic energy of transformation Lilith is also very significant here for some of you if you already work with Lilith um this feels like a time for you to deepen your work with her understanding and understanding your shadow self but even if you don't work with Lilith this woman just finds you stepping into your shadows embracing your shadows embracing your dark self embracing the darkest part of you embracing all the part of you that you keep away because you feel like you don't want to be misjudged you don't want to be misperceived you don't want to be projected upon you don't want people to misunderstand you now you're like okay i have no fucks to give literally <laughs> gemini is that your vibe for this woman you literally have to, no no freaking f's to give right? you're like just showing up as who you are shining your light being the most doing everything you want to do busting up and just i love this for you baby <laughs> i love this okay so don't hold yourself back from shedding any old burdens you're still holding yourself like shedding
shed your old skin who you are today is not who you were yesterday who you are today is not who you were last week who you were last month who you were last year <laughs> people that knew you from the past they don't know this version of you so why are you still playing like you're that past version of you when you know you be leveled up you bust up significantly why are you still trying to be yeah because you're trying to keep those people comfortable are you kidding me no maybe you are not kidding no more all right, Gemini's, that's the reading for this woman in Taurus. I'm moving on to Cancer. Let's see what's the message from my sweet Cancers. All right, this woman, my love, yeah, in this state of, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I do this? Should I not do this? Yeah, asking like, okay, what if I go this way? Is it going to be positive? If I go that way, is it going to be negative? Will I get the results from it? But that is also going to help you really, really tap into your intuition. So right now, you guys are not listening to your intuition. Concerns. You're not, you're not listening to your intuition because you're allowing your ego to kind of like put you in this fear state. Like, oh, well, if I do this, will it be, will it result, will it really generate what I want, will it result in what I want? Okay, so you're allowing that to hold you back. But I want you to really, really feel into your gut, feel into your Feel into your gut instinct. Feel into what your soul is actually trying to say. This is no time for you to start listening to the fears that your brain is projecting or the fears and the anxieties and the worries sitting in your body. No, this is time for you to calm yourself, open yourself up and listen to what your heart is saying. You guys are being invited to step up where you're asking yourself like, do I have what is... Do I, do I, do I have what... Do, okay spirit calm down let me let me let me receive this guy <laughs> don't scramble it okay so do i have what it takes am i capable of being the one of being the leader of stepping up am i capable of being seen am i capable of being the one to take decisions or being the one to lead others or being the one to take responsibility for results or being the one to do things in a way i wish they had been doing you know i'm being given the opportunity but do i really really believe and think i have it in myself to actually show up as this leader you've been wanting to be the leader now it's time for you to take up that initiative this is not about you talking yourself out of it this is not about you playing small this is not about you running away this is about you embracing who you are and stepping up to into this leadership position that is being offered to you okay so cancers this is no time for you to be asking like uh yes i even see some of you like you know doing the if thingy like okay yes you know maybe yes no <laughs> when you already know the answer we think is yes why are you still doubting yourself baby why are you doubting yourself okay so this full moon also helps you to really really tap into your intuition a lot so i want you to sit by yourself try to spend time under this full moon sitting by yourself what is going to be helpful for you so sit in your bath visit a lake, visit a river, go swimming, just being in water is going to allow you to come into this, allowing you to release the tension and then so you can flow into the space of hearing what your heart is saying, of hearing what your soul is trying to tell you. But right now you're holding a lot of tension because you are afraid of being, mis of being misperceived and of making the wrong judgment or making the wrong decision, okay? So release your fears, release your worries, you actually have everything we see you to become this leader. You're very much capable. You're very much skilled. You have all the experiences. If you want me to IP you up, I'm here to IP you up. You have all the skills, all the experiences, the capabilities to actually excel in this leadership role. So don't let yourself back. Don't let yourself hold you back from experiencing what your soul is ready to experience and what your soul knows that is going to happen and do great things in baby okay <laughs> so this full moon i want you to also carry out the release ritual write down your fears write down your anxieties write down your doubts your worries everything you feel like would go wrong that you think is going to go wrong all the ways in which you think that you're not skilled enough in which you doubt yourself in which you doubt your your abilities your skills your experiences i want you to write all of those things down then i want you to burn it 
on that ish or flush it down the toilet but i always want you to carry out some a release ritual that is going to be significant enough that is going to require you to carry not just so you are transforming your your brain you are transcribing your emotions into physical forms by writing it down then you are going to burn it up okay i love firework okay burning it up is a very good way to release but you can also flush it down the toilet if you are like yeah fire okay this is going to really help you to release all these fears and feelings and emotions and worries and doubts you are holding on to. Alright. Alright. Moving on to Leo's. Leo, baby. Can I get your number? Leo, it feels like people are trying to get your attention. Leo, baby. Like some people are like seeing you and they're like, ooh, who is that? Who is that? Can I get your number? Can I get can I? <laughs> people are trying to get to know who you are. Who is this person? Who is this player? Who is this star? Alright, my you. Can you read that? Take a risk, baby. Okay. This woman finds you giving yourself your flowers. And also being open, you guys might be receiving flowers from like random strangers or like secret admirers. People sending you flowers, people sending you gifts and stuff. People also giving you sweet words. I'm seeing like maybe someone just drops a note at your doorstep or sends something to your workplace or writes you a poem and sends it by DM. And you're like, <laughs> what is this? Okay, but this phone, I want you to really, really step into being taking a risk. Letting yourself push yourself like okay what what if that's a question that's a question that's just a question okay what I'm saying is you guys also um Leo so Leo Sun Moon Rising whatever placement you have in you I want you to go to your charts look at your nuts node look at your MC line okay your mid heaven line and your nuts node and see how can you push the boundaries in this. How can you do things right now that positions you as who your soul is destined to be, as who your soul is becoming? And then even in your career as well, you guys, at this point in time, this woman is asking you to take a risk in how you show up in the world, to take a risk in how you share your gift to the world, to take a gift in how you share your creativity, your art, the way your expression. Take a risk. <laughs> Maybe play on different platforms, show up in a different way than you normally would, try a different medium, do something different, break out of the mold, do something different. If you've been wanting to eat that podcast, go ahead, record that podcast and share it. This woman is asking to break the mold. What I'm feeling here is the energy of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, wherever you have Sagittarius in your chat, also look at it and look at what can you harness from that house, okay? So whatever house you have Sagittarius in, there's also something about that house being very significant for you and helping you to break the mold under this full moon in Taurus, okay? So this full moon in Taurus is not time for you to stay in your comfort zone, for you to do things the way you've always done. So the three things I'm seeing being activated, you're not to note your MC line and then whatever house you have Sagittarius in, those three houses, the thematic areas of those three houses are going to be significant. There are places in which you're being required to take a risk, to go on an adventure, to do, to try something new. So don't, this is not time for you to go with the flu. No, you're not going with the flu. <laughs> you're breaking out. <laughs> you're breaking out, baby. This is not time for you to go with the flow. This is not time for you to stay in your comfort zone. This is not time for you to do things the way you've always done. This is not time for you to maintain status quo. No. This is time for you to break boundaries, break limitations, expose yourself to new experiences. <laughs> A spirit is telling me to capital that baby okay but this full moon finds you you guys are going to be i'm feeling like people like you might have secret admirers around you that are going to send you some flowers on that full moon okay but there's also something about you basically so what spirit is saying is baby i want you to open up on for your flowers and let the sun shine on you in different parts okay for some of you you actually need to do like a sun meditation Okay, so go out there in the sun, spread yourself out there and let yourself absorb all that beautiful sun like energy. It's going to charge you up, okay? Alright, my love, my love, my love. I'm moving on to Virgo. Alright, Virgos, this full moon in Taurus, especially being nights in your earth sign. This 
woman in Taurus finds you in this place of coming into your like really actually giving yourself the kudos of okay i'm actually smart i'm actually knowledgeable about this ish actually know what i'm doing actually have the knowledge actually have the background experience actually know what i'm doing <laughs> and then well, as you are coming to the realization of saying okay i actually know what i'm doing i know what i'm, what I'm about I'm, I'm i know what i'm saying it's going to make you realize like okay maybe in the past you actually felt like it you know in the past you might have played dumb a bit because maybe someone challenged the authority or said oh how could you do it that way and you're like um because you could not give them an explanation but now under this form you get to that place of realizing oh, okay i knew what i was doing i just couldn't explain it <laughs> because i couldn't explain it didn't know that it, did. it doesn't mean that I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. Okay. So this full moon also finds you like really being in this place of acknowledging to yourself how much you've grown, how much you know now, how much your skills have improved, how much your expertise has grown, how much you've owned your expertise, how much you've become better. Okay. So this full moon really finds you in this place of there's something I'm hearing about you tapping into the full moon, and especially because it's in the earth element. So I want you to try to draw down the energy of the moon however you can draw down the energy of the moon spending time outside under the full moon sitting earthing grounding placing your bare feet on the ground working on the earth um planting digging using your fingers to dig into the earth there's something about you needing to connect a lot with the energies of the earth and then under the full moon okay so this is it's almost like you are rooting yourself into presence you are rooting yourself into this new awareness of yourself like oh i know my shit i actually know what i'm doing and then this is almost like this is you creating an inescapable memory an inescapable moment in time that you'd be like okay at that time at that point in time 2024 under the full moon in Taurus, I acknowledged that I knew my shit and that made me grow because I was it's like you're building a milestone platform. So you've been moving up, you've been moving up. Now it's time for you to cement your growth by doing something significant that is like a, a milestone. What I'm just saying is like you coming up the staircase and reaching this level of landing, this level and landing and looking around and like oh actually i've come up like 20 flights of stairs yeah, there are still stairs there are still steps there are still more things for you to do but at this time yeah there's something about you having to acknowledge how much you've grown what you're capable of what you actually know right there's something about you you're spending this time to actually acknowledge what you're capable of who you are who you become how you become a master what you now know what you now know oh you become a master yeah Oh, you become a master what you now know because there's something about that switching up so yes you've been doing the work in the past but in the past you felt like you were not as skilled and now you are actually skilled and knowledgeable enough to experience new experiences you guys there's a there's an upcoming yeah to have new experiences you're actually skilled enough to have new experiences you're actually skilled enough to have people asking you questions asking for advice being a team lead having more responsibilities now you're actually skilled enough and if you don't spend so the thing is because you're caught up in the everyday day to day day to day day to day that's why you're being asked at this time to draw down the moon to sit and to ground in presence i already told you spend time under this form and grounding in presence sitting on the earth as in placing your bare feet if you can work with the soil work with the soil plant something dig up something just work with the soil you need to ground sitting by yourself sitting by yourself this form beautifully is felt on the weekend and i know you guys are what call it shish <laughs> make sure you spend time by yourself under this full moon to ground it's very imperative for you to ground for you to look this grounding this period of meditation of sitting of taking time out to sit by yourself to ground is going to help you to basically pull like it's a, so what i'm saying is like when you ground you are going to see like playback of the past and how far you've come to the present and that's going to give you the ginger and the courage for you to move forward into the future because you are going to acknowledge how far you've come and that's going to give you the 
prove that you need to move into the future for you to be for you to trust in what you're capable of for you to trust in how far you can go okay you yes, guys there's a trip that's coming up for you you are still conflicted about it but you'll be making the decision and moving towards someone who loves you that came out very fast right <laughs> you guys there's a trip upcoming for some of you this yeah, for some of you, all of you guys. Oh, I get to now I get the full picture. Okay, so very good. So what's happening is you're acknowledging your skills, and that's going to give you the vibe. It's going to give. It's going to fire up your engine for you to seek greener pasture in terms of your work, seeking traveling to a new place where your skills will be more appreciated. Because see, the challenge is because you've not seen how far you've come. You've not been able to personally appreciate how far you've grown. And because you've not been able to personally appreciate how far you've grown, the fact that the people around you can't appreciate you because they don't talk about it, it's not made you aware of how far and how much you've grown, how far you've changed, how much you've changed, how you've transformed. That's why Spirit is asking you, under this form, sit by yourself, ground, take time away from work, sit by yourself, ground into stillness, so that you can examine your past and be like, oh, then in the past, actually, I couldn't have done this, now I can do it, I've actually grown. And when you come to that realization of actually going, be like, oh, okay, if I can actually can apply for those new roles, I can actually succeed in those new roles, I can actually take up those responsibilities, I can actually expand my reach. You know, guys, there's a trip you need to take, and right now you're conflicted. You don't know how you're going to, oh, I love the way the messages are just pouring in. <laughs> Okay, so right now you guys are conflicted. You don't know how you're going to make this move. You don't know, okay, should I move forward? Should I go left? Should I go right? Should I go to industry? Should I go to company B? Should I, 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 Baby, first of all, ground your ass down. Sit down, meditate. See, this is not even your phone. I'm going to wrap up this reading, Virgos. You guys, you always do this. Virgos always make me give very, very much. Go, 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 and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I'm going to wrap this up because this is for all, all 12 signs. You guys, okay, so wrapping it up. Sit your ass down. Ground. And understand that you've grown. You've actually moved forward. Your skills are not like through the roof okay there's a new journey for you to take you guys are going on a new journey you're going to a new place and right now you're still conflicted about this place okay um for some of you you might also be so what i'm saying is like maybe speaking to someone you love there's something about love making yeah speaking to someone you love because you've got injury barrier communication speaking to someone you love about this is going to help you get clearer around okay maybe you talk to your babe your spouse your partner your lover just someone you love someone you know that genuinely loves you for some of you this can also be your mother but this is energy of this is the queen of cups this is someone who loves you genuinely and someone who won't give you negative advice someone will give you partial advice or biased advice someone will tell you as it is someone will see the best in you okay this person is going to help you also get clear on where you need to go the decisions you need to make and how you should be making this move all right <laughs> all right let's see your phone one message i'm so impressed considering that this phone one is happening in your sister sign of taurus as I've been to feel the pull to really, really settle into self care. Into settle into self care. Accept the responsibility from your work, penis. Nobody can give you what you don't give yourself. And accept the responsibility and stop giving out blame. And you know, calling out yourself for your shit. Libras, my love, this full moon finds you really sipping into self care. And, and this self care I'm talking about, this is just another day. Um, I'm a lie in the bed. I'm a, it's my favorite food. 
I'm going to nap in front of the TV. I'm going to watch my favorite series. No, that's not. No, the self care is this for when your Taurus is asking you to. It's for you to step up into who you know you are. Don't run. Stop running away from your responsibilities. Stop running away from what you need to do for yourself. Stop running away from putting yourself out there. Stop running away from making a decision. Stop running away from your own joy. Stop running away from yourself, basically. You've got the most reflection, accept responsibilities. This is you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, Okay, baby, uh, enough with that playing dumb. Enough with letting things slide. Enough with accepting things as they are. Enough with playing small. Enough with expecting the minimum. Enough with misunderstanding myself. Enough with not choosing my own joy. Enough with not showing up for what I want. Enough with not showing up as myself enough is not becoming the healthiest happiest strongest version of myself enough with the excuses libra this woman in taurus is like yanking out your cut like okay you're tired you're tired of how things have been so right now you're like okay I'm going to accept responsibility for my own happiness. I'm going to accept responsibility for my joy. I am accepting responsibility for what I want. I'm I am accepting responsibility for what makes me happy. I am accepting responsibility for my joy. For what brings me joy. For what fills me with joy. For what fills me with laughter. For what brings me happiness. I'm accepting responsibility for who I want to be in the world. I'm accepting responsibility for the influence I want to have. For the impact I want to create. For the things I want to do. I'm no longer awake. Yes, your energy is attractive. But now you're realizing, okay, you've not even been putting yourself in the place to attract what you want to yourself word you've been wanting this but you've been putting yourself there so you've been attracting nonsense so now you have to be like okay oh, baby let's move to where we're going to attract what you want that is the self-care this full moon in taurus is bringing how to take responsibility for your own joy how to take responsibility for your own happiness i feel like giving you an affirmation card how to take responsibility for your own joy let me not just How to take responsibility for your own happiness. Bottom of the deck. It is safe to shine. It is safe for you to shine. It is safe for you to have everything you want, my love. It is safe for you to shine. For you to demand for more. It is safe for you to be celebrated. It is safe for you to be applauded. It is safe for you to have the best relationship. You don't have to keep negating. You don't have to keep settling for less. You don't have to keep settling for crumbs you don't have to keep playing for less because because you are trying to be fair to maintain peace and i'm only like oh no holding on <laughs> okay so my son you guys this form will really find you <laughs> I would say like for some of you, you might do like an actual 180 degrees like you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like okay you know it's enough with the crap this has to go and it's going this has to end for some of you i'm seeing actually like pulling out your waves or pulling out your hair there's something about but i'm seeing something around you maybe taking down your hair taking down something like just <laughs> like I'm seeing a reflection straight away of someone just like taking down their hair. <laughs> All right, let's just spread one final cut for my silly breasts. It's a safe place to shine. Okay, so this home is going to help you to accept responsibility for your joy, accept the responsibility for your happiness, accept the responsibility for what you want to become and showing up for it. Accept the responsibility also means that you acknowledge that this is what I need to do to make me happy. This is what I need to do to go after what I want. This is what I need. This is where I need to be. These are things I need to be doing. This is how I need to be playing. This is how I need to be showing up. That is you accepting responsibility for your joy. Alright? That is you accepting responsibility for your joy. Almost at the point now that Queen Spirit has already given it. <laughs> Manifesting is my superpower. Manifesting is my superpower. So Libra, as well as this full moon, you're realizing that you even manifesting. It's not about you just saying the word. Embodying it. Then manifesting it. In the, I published a recent blog post around Venus in Capricorn. That's on my website. 
because Venus in Capricorn also happened under the 11 11 portal so I had the right up on the 11 11 portal on there and then you can also see that on YouTube if you go to my community tab you see that when you are setting out your intentions for manifestation you envision it you embody it and then you manifest it manifesting is you becoming that person even before the circumstances even before your external reality changes that is you so if you're saying yeah this is your intention this is what you want to manifest so you set your intention then you become it that is you manifesting and once you become it once you accept that this is who i am now everything around the world shifts to reflect back your acceptance of who you are now and who you see yourself to be that's why manifestation is your superpower Libra, as you're already here in that place of being able to understand the intricacies of relationships you, you guys can finagle you can tweak things now it's time for you to apply that to yourself and also, really, really, there's just something, what I'm just hearing is like you taking responsibility and accepting no more excuses. No more excuses. You accepting responsibility for your joy, for your happiness, for your wealth, for your everything you want. Just accept it. Okay, I'm going to give myself this. It's like that's, it's like you need to give yourself permission to become that person, that version of yourself. You need to give yourself permission to become that version of yourself. That's what you've been holding yourself back because you feel like, okay, maybe, 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 maybe what? Come on, you can just, I'll, I'll pinch you. All right, you guys, okay? I accept responsibility for your joy. Moving on to Scorpio. Scorpios, how are you enjoying your season? How are you enjoying your season? You know, um, Taurus is your opposite sign. Okay, so this full money in Taurus is going to feel really, really full. So you guys, you're going to be in a place of processing your feelings. Okay, so this full moon, as I was saying, this full moon in Taurus is going to feel, make you feel very, you're going to be feeling very emotional. For some of you, you're needing to like actually cry out loud. What I'm saying is like actually weeping, letting out your pain, releasing. That's going to be very healing and trans you know, transmutative and transformative for you under this full moon. Letting yourself experience the fullness and the wholeness of your feelings. Don't hold yourself back. Like, <laughs> what I'm saying is like you guys having you've been shrugging it off and you know shouldering the burden and the pain but mm -mm. this full moon in taurus there's something about your throat chakra being activated like even if you've been shrug shrugging things off you'll not be able to this full moon you might you guys might find yourself lashing out unexpectedly it's because you've been keeping things on the down low you've not been wanting to address this thing so you might find yourself lashing out unexpectedly but if you are, if you want to not lash out unexpectedly i want you to take time on that just for one to really really process your feelings allow you even if the person you're trying to even if the person that needs to be hearing it is cannot maybe because you don't want to you know hurt their feelings be the truth or break their heart go to where you will not be disturbed and speak out loud pour out everything pour out everything because you guys are holding back a lot and this full moon in Taurus is not good so either you allow the full moon to work on you when you, your tra tracker gets activated and you unexpectedly lash out or you actually try to control the process whereby you make sure you are in a quiet place and then all out your feelings pour it out talk about it sh shout scream um cry gnash with you do all of those and then you can come out <laughs> Composed, like okay, but if you don't do that, you guys are going to the full moon energy is too intense and it's happening in your opposite side, so you are going to be feeling it, you are you will not be able to control it. And I know one thing about you guys, you don't like losing control, okay? So, the best way you can do this is just process your feelings, let out that shit. This is not time for you to start old, you know. You've, you've held back a lot, you've shrugged a lot off, you need to pour it out, you need to pour it out, if not, it's just going to come out in a way that you can't control, where the impact is going to be worse, where you may end up saying things that you wish you could take back, but you know you can't take back because you know the words have been said, okay, the words have been said, 
all right all right definitely need to cap it on that for you <laughs> all right moving on to Sagittarius I swallowed some flower <laughs> all right Sagittarius this for me in Taurus also finds you being a bit melancholic you guys are being melancholic looking at past actions where you were past decisions you were non-committal with there are some things that now looking back in retrospect my love Sagittarius, you guys will be saying 0330, okay? So there's something about you looking back in retrospect and wishing that you had made diff like you had you're wishing you had made a different choice back then. And for some of you, this was more like you choosing to commit to your joy, choosing to commit to serenity, choosing to do things differently than the way you've always done. You there are some decisions in the past. I'm going to I feel like playing more. It's just more clarity around these decisions, but it feels like maybe for some of you, maybe there were persons in the past you could have been more committed to, or you know, you could have been more serious with. And now it feels like the train has gone past you. This person, is, you can't close the gap anymore. Like you can't really have those conversations again because you had the opportunities to have the conversation. You have to, you had the opportunities to show up differently. You had the opportunity to like if you had made different choices back then, right now you'll be having a new experience, a different experience that is actually better than what you're having right now. So that's why you're feeling this melancholy and being like pulled to the past and you're like you're telling yourself like oh I wish I'd I wish I had not made that choice. I wish I had committed to this person. I wish I had committed to this idea. I wish I had showed up for this person in the way they were asking me. So I wish I had. I wish I had not made that choice. I wish. So you guys are really in that retrospective, melancholic state. Like okay, because mm. right now it's not exactly regrets, but you know things could have been different right now. If you had not made those choices in the past, right now, your right now would be a whole lot different. And what I'm saying is that it would be a whole lot happier, a whole lot more serene, a whole lot more joyful than what you're currently experiencing. So that's why you're feeling like, oh. Um, so it feels like your memories are really taking, your memories of the past are really taking hold of you. Your memories of the past are really taking hold of your current your current reality and you guys are just feeling really for some of you this was you um choosing not to be with someone who wanted you or someone who loved you or someone who was asking you to commit to them in a different way for others of you this was you not taking a trip to taking a chance on a new job in a new place in a new like new living surroundings so this this really just feels like you looking back on those decisions you didn't take those communications those conversations that you felt were too hard then or that you could not commit to those things you could not commit to that you didn't want to commit to them and now realizing like oh i wish i'd actually done that i wish i'd chosen differently i wish i'd actually pulled out my mind to this person i wish i'd taken a chance on that relationship i wish i'd taken a chance on that job i wish i'd taken a chance on that trip i'm sure things are going to be a whole lot different now. i'm sure my experiences right now would be a whole lot more fun appear more interesting more joyful than what i'm currently experiencing if i'd actually taken those trips so, but this really feels a bit around you could have taken those actions those decisions to be with someone who you knew and genuine love for you or to be in a place that you would have had genuine admirers people that will actually love the work you do people that actually will value the work you do people that will actually value your contributions to their life so it just feels like you didn't show up for them then or you couldn't show up for them then or you just couldn't commit to the idea and the experience of being with them you couldn't commit to the to the notion of being with this persons or being with these people 
and you had to make a choice then even then you felt like okay you're making the best choice but now in retrospect you're looking at okay maybe you actually you actually did make the best choice you could have made a different choice and that different choice would have led you to a different experience right now okay As I said, you guys are going to be saying three, three, threes. You're going to be saying zero, three, zero, three, thirty, thirty, as well as three, three, threes. Um, one thing Spirit is wanting me to tell you right now is for you to know that life continues in a cycle. So even if you feel like you missed out on that opportunity, another opportunity is going to come around. It's not going to be exactly what you've missed out on, but the components are still going to be similar. So for those of you that you had the opportunity to travel for a job, to travel to move to a new place and you didn't take it up, you are going to have a new opportunity like that, but it's going to be changed. You are going to have that new similar opportunity. So maybe you are offered a new role which that would have had those responsibilities, but in a different country, that, that, rather than where you could have been to. Or, in your current country for those of you like this was a person a relationship you passed upon you would still meet someone similar to them as long as you continue because what you're going through right now you're reminiscing and that's going to kind of like help you understand okay i've made some decisions that were not so healthy for me in the past that were not so um favorable to me in the past so how can i moving forward how do i prevent myself from making such decisions what do i now need to be aware of what do i now need to prioritize that will help me make that will help me improve my decision making skills for myself do you understand so this right now you're yeah, in this place of reminiscing and that's going to help you so the more you improve on being able to make better decisions for yourself you're going to attract those opportunities back to you it's just that they're going to not be exactly what you've missed out on or what you think have passed past you they're going to come again but it's just that they will have similar components something similar not exactly the same but something similar is going to come through so what i want you to do right now don't lose yourself so much in the remnant sizing allow yourself to feel it and release it and most important thing is for you to take the lesson okay so don't get lost in thoughts of oh, how i wish how i wish no take the lesson so that you can make better choices and better decisions moving forward when these opportunities come again okay when they come around okay and as um, they are telling me, don't expect the same kind of person to come back. The kind of love you were offered, it's not going to come back. But you are going to have something similar that is in alignment with who you are now. Capish. But you guys are going to be seeing three, three, threes. Three, zero, three, zero, and zero, three, zero, three. And zero, three, three, zero. Zero, three, three, three. So you are just going to be seeing three, three, threes. All right. Moving on to Capricorn. Mm, that's so delicious. I love Capricorn, this full moon in Taurus. There's something about you giving yourself some sweetness. Being sweet with yourself. Being sweet with yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that's about you giving yourself sweetness. So Capricorn, this full moon finds you leaning into support, leaning into support, leaning into sweetness. First of all, being sweet to yourself, and then when you are sweet to yourself, you are going to be able to see okay, who outside you is being sweet to you. What people that actually support you. This is you building in your circles of friendship, your circles of healing, your circles of acceptance. I'm seeing like sisterhood circles and even if you get like brotherhood circles but you, and then your circles can be mixed up made up of different genders but it's just really about you first of all nurturing yourself caring for yourself and then venus is also in capricorn which is also helping you to really see who is in this for the long term who support can i rely upon for the long term who can i who can i back on back put my back against for the long term what can i lean on for the long term okay but this full moon in Taurus is really just asking it's just it's helping you as i've been to feeling like taking a lot more sweet things but maybe not sugary sweet just naturally sweet things so maybe like using honey 
eating sugar cane molasses just naturally sweet things a lot more sweet fruits but just what i'm saying like warm for things that give you this warm fuzzy feeling doing things you enjoy doing okay so first of all so you're building the first circle of sweetness and support around yourself first then you're now extending it like okay what are the people around me that can make up my next circle before you so you are really seeing like how the people around you can be put in different groups with as with expanding radar and like okay who should be in my innermost sanctum who should be in my innermost circle okay who can be in the next layer who can be in the next layer who can be in, do you understand so this woman is helping you to like okay who do i actually have a around me who are my allies who are people i can ally with who are my allies who are my allies who are my friends who are my partners who are people that are actually on my supporting team people that actually root for me people that actually applaud me people that actually admire me and show up and encourage me and you know people that actually can lean on people i can lean on when i want to when i need to people that i can depend upon when i need to I don't even feel like taking any extra card. Okay. So this form and for some of you, you may find yourself like talking to friends that you've not spoken to in a while. But these are people that you even though you've not spoken to them in a while, there's something about you, these people being true to you. And then also now looking at maybe the people around you that like even if you talk to them in a while, they actually can't even show for you the way you want, need them to show for you. Okay. So this full money in Taurus is really just helping you to get clear on your circles of support. So as I said, you guys might be feeling led to doing like a a um I'm seeing it, but I don't have the word. Kind of like a shuffling. Yeah, you are reshuffling the players on your board. You are reshuffling the, your chess pieces. Okay, you are reshuffling the players on your team. You are reshuffling the people in your life and placing them in different strata according to how much you know they can support you. Do you understand? So as I said, so for some of you, you might be writing out a list of everyone in your life and then putting them into different buckets. Like, okay, this person can be my innermost circle in my nest. Do you understand? All right, my love. But prepare to write under this form in Taurus. Get a white, plain paper, no lines. Uh, the spirit is telling me to give you, <laughs> to give you the lowdown of the model. Okay, so what I want you to do is plain piece of paper, blue pen. Write your name in the middle. Place yourself in the middle. You can also get like a chess piece or board game piece. Put yourself in the middle. Then in your closest circle, next radar, radar of maybe five meters. When you stretch out your hand, would you want to meet them? Five meters, arms length. We should be in your next circle. Do you understand? So write their names. And then ask yourself, does this person, can I read? So if my hands are outstretched, if I've reached my limits, can these people, can these persons grab hold of my hand? Can they help me? Can they support me? Can I depend on them? Then after that, the next circle. So that's going to be two arms length span. So 10 meters radius. 10 meters radius. <laughs> 10 meters radius. Okay, what are the other set of persons that are going to be in that third layer of circle? What are the persons that are going to be in fourth layer of circle? What persons are going to be in fifth layer of circle? Anybody outside of fifth layer of circle? Their acquaintances. There are no people you can call your friends or your family or your no. So five, keep max it at five. Okay, and don't try to fit everyone in. You there's there's no space. I'm even being told to tell you to like limit the number of spots in each circle. So maximum of ten people in a circle. And your innermost circle cannot have ten people. Maximum three, four, five, five max. Alright, moving on to Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. I love this. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, my love, Aquarius. This moon, this full moon finds you. You guys are going to be at home, but there's something about you being in abundance. You're going to. You guys are going to spend time at home under this full moon, and you're going to be feeling grateful. You'll be feeling full. You have everything you want. You you have your man, your woman, enough food. The things that bring you joy, enough money in your account, 
just everything that keeps you happy and this phone i want you to spend time oof the year is itchy <laughs> i want you to spend time being in a state of gratitude because there's so much abundance around you my love um this phone just really finds you being in yourself and being composed and being happy in yourself and just being full of life and accepting who you are and just being grateful for who you are what you have every scene and you're just feeling full of life you're just feeling full like your coffers are busting your wallet is busting your bank account is filled with zero 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 <laughs> Commas, 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 commas. Your heart is full of joy. Your belly is full. Your wardrobe is full. Your house is full of laughter. There's just a lot of abundance around you, and the abundance is really finding you. You guys, you may also be needing to talk to people that just. For some of you, it might be. Okay, so I'm hearing like for some of you, you might actually get news around under this full moon of increase of more of prosperity of good news of congratulations of felicitations of oh you've won this you've received this we are giving you this and then for others of you there's something about you we are understanding like your abundance is so much you can now share with others. You can share with others, you can scrape off what is dripping off and share with others. <sighs> My ear is so hot right now. <laughs> you guys might also be making calls. On that is phone, a lot of communication, but everything is just coming from a place of abundance. And then also you are feeling full in yourself in terms of you're appreciative of your skills, how much you've grown, how much you know now, how much you've learned, how much you are able to do with what you know. Like your 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 solar chakra is very active, so you're feeling very confident, you're feeling very strong, yourself really strong, yeah, you're, you're shining like the star. That um mega song is coming in Mamushka. I'm not gonna name a star, 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 star. But this is not you feeling that way because you're trying to impress others. No, this is just a fullness of art. This is fullness of joy, fullness, abundance in your belly. Like there's something about you eating very filling foods, very rich filling foods on that is full in Taurus. That's just going to make you feel so good, feel so alive, feel so blessed. You're going to be feeling really, really blessed. And then for some of you, you're also going to realize maybe you need to pay it back for if you are owing, if you are, if you have any debts, this is you paying up your debts and still being very grateful and still being very full of life and still being very thankful for everything you have. But this full moon, don't this weekend under this full moon, don't expect to be stepping out. You know, your ass is going to be sitting at home. And you're going to be sitting at home and you're going to be grateful to be where you are. You're going to be grateful for everything. Yeah? You're going to be grateful for the roof over your head, the bed in which you sleep, the food in your kitchen, the food in your pot, the food in your belly, the love in your heart, the people around you. You're just going to have a lot of all the things you want. <laughs> this full moon. Now for all of the signs, this is the first time I'm really feeling like this full moon is giving the vibes of... Um, okay, well, because you're also a fixed sign. This form, what I'm seeing for you, you're just in a very chilled, you're chilling. This form, this form finds you being very chilled in your self care, feeling like a boss, like a queen, being very pampered, taking care of, just being very abundant, luxurious, luscious, just full of life, full of so much to be grateful for. <laughs> All right, my love. Message moving on to Pisces. Sweet Pisces, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, so Pisces, first thing that came through was you guys may be taking a trip and may not necessarily be a physical trip, this might be like an emotional, mental trip where you are putting yourself in new experiences, new locations, even if you're not physically moving. The internet has made it, you can be anywhere virtually at any point in time. So, but there's something about you having to take a trip to go where and then you go courage. I've never looked at the other thing. 
you've got courage so courage to put yourself out there this is the blood moon this is that aries energy so wherever you, i want you to look at wherever you've got aries in your chat okay wherever you've got aries in your chat is going to show you where you can be more courageous and take more risk be more initiative take more be more be um be more initiative okay okay and then you're yeah, also going to be getting a lot of synchronicities signs seeing butterflies seeing animals following you seeing things like just synchronicities be pay attention to these messages you are going to be receiving signs from your ancestors from your spirit guides your angels they are going to be dropping so it's like for some of you, you may be thinking like oh should i do this and next thing you see something flash across your phone with that exact message i look at your phone and you have angel numbers you have represent numbers or you look at the car pass and you're like i was just thinking of that number or you look at you are thinking of something and then you manifest in your 3d reality and like so watch out for the signs. This full moon in Taurus, you are being guided to go beyond your boundaries, to go to push yourself beyond your limits, to try something new. Explore. Okay. If you have Leo, if you have Leo in your chat, also this is going to be very significant. Okay. So you've got self regulation now. This is the first time the Taurus card is coming out self-regulation only you can limit what you can achieve you guys might also be seeing rainbows under this full moon only you can limit what you only you can limit how far you can go only you can put the limit on who you can become only you can put a limit on what you can experience you are the only one so don't allow anything outside of you dictate to you that oh you should play this way you should be in that way you should do that you should know you are the only one that controls your life okay and then there's just a lot of synchronicities coming in under this form and there's also something about you realizing that what is meant to be is going to be no matter how long it takes no matter how many cycles of the sun and the moon and no matter how many cycles of nature of seasons changing if it's meant to be it will surely be what you need to do is to be brave enough to continue to hold the fort for when your vision comes through. It's coming to you. It's coming to you sooner rather than later. In fact, it's coming to you, but you need to stay strong. Stay strong in believing that you are receiving everything you're manifesting. Ramsey, oh baby. <laughs> You guys are going to be seeing blue butterflies rainbows white butterflies i'm also seeing like vapors steams and then in these vapors as they're rising up you're going to be able to see figures and you'll be like am i seeing clearly like rubbing you as if that's what i think i just saw okay um also pay attention to your dreams under this form when it hurts your angels your ancestors your spirit guys are coming through they're trying to leave you messages almost like also encouragement for you to know like what you've been promised is going to be yours you just need to stay stay the tide you need to you know just stay on your path stay keep moving forward keep on putting one step ahead of the other keep on progressing keep on going forward keep on doing what you know you need to do keep on showing up for yourself keep on showing as you are and sooner rather than later all of those things are going to come to you, you guys are also going to be seeing rainbows under this form, it's going to be very important for you to regulate your behaviors, for you to regulate your desires also. If you are feeling escapist, if you are feeling like you should escape from reality, try to curtail that by getting your, making sure like you've done some things before you lose yourself to fantasy. So, so for example, like, okay, there are things you need to do, but if you like watching a movie, do some of the things you need to do first cross out your to-do list cross out some of your th the tasks on your to-do list then go watch that movie so let's be like the movie is a reward for you actually doing what you need to do you feel like drinking get a nice movie. do what you need to do first before you lose yourself in you know relaxing trying to you know be high daydream fantasize all of those yes you, you can do all of those but it's very imperative for you under this form one so at least do what you're 
promise yourself to do show for what you promise yourself to show for okay and then it's going to also i would like you to, to try to stay in reality try to try to stay away from substances um, inducing substances hallucinatory substances things that take, give you out of body experiences try to stay away from them under this full moon in Taurus and sit in your body there are some things that are going to be coming through that you're not going to be able to receive if you're out of your body because if you're out of your body you're like ah. you need to be grounded into your body under this full moon you need to be grounded into your body under this full moon because all I'm also saying is like you yeah, are being given the initiative on how to proceed on some of your projects, on your ideas, on how to move, make, move the needle forward. And if you are out of your body, you are not going to be able to receive and transmit these things into lasting action. Okay, so you can receive it, but you'll not be able to put it into action because there'll be a whole lot that you cannot control and regulate what's coming through. But if you stay in your body, you are going to receive the channels clearly and then you're going to be able to transmit them into action straight up. Okay. Any other word for my sweet Pisces? All signs. Flowers are going to be significant. Flowers, butterflies. Also, under this form, make sure you move your body, dance, go to the gym, feel into your body. That's what I'm saying, like, ground yourself into your body. This is any time for you to be getting high, you know. Ground into your body. You got, when I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. You guys are going to be seeing flowers. Flowers are significant. When I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. You might also be seeing this, like, um pictures of theirs, theirs in your neighborhood, um, pictures of theirs literally, what well, I'm saying is like pictures of theirs running through, yeah, baby, I've told you, stay in your body, <laughs> stay in your body under this form, okay, do what you need to do to stay in your body, go to the gym, lift some weights, dance, run, swim, whatever helps you to stay in your body, it's very important because there are going to be signs being given to you and you need to take action on those, okay? All right, my love. That was your message. And finally, Aries, how are you doing, love? Let me take a sip, sip. All right, Aries. Yeah. You've been waiting for so long, you're like, why are you leaving us for last? Sorry, I have to go into the other floor. Taurus. Alright, so Aries, this full moon, you are going to be cleansing, clearing your house, cleaning out your closets, okay? Oof. Cleaning out your closets. Alright, that's it. Cleaning out your closet, cleaning your house, decluttering. Letting go of old documents, old clothes, old papers, things you don't need any longer. I think of all the signs, you guys, your Aries, you're the ones like... But don't forget, watch messages for your sun, moon, and rising sign, okay? So Aries, you guys, of all the signs, you guys are the ones that are actually going to clean under <laughs> this full moon. This full moon is asking you to go clean, and not go on a cleansing craze, but kind of like something like that. You are going to be looking through your closets, looking through your cupboards, looking through your table, your clothes, everywhere. You are going to be cleaning out cobwebs, taking out things that you've not seen in a while and like, okay, do I still need this thing? Okay, I'm going to trash it. You are doing all of these things because new energy needs to come in. So old energy needs to be cleared away. That's why you are feeling this pull to clean. Okay, so make sure you clean, declutter your house, cleanse, release everything, give away, throw away items that are broken. Give away things you've not used in a long while. Those things are taking up space and new energy is coming in. So spirit is trying to help you get a start on your on the new energy. And then there's no space for these new energies because there's still a whole lot of old shit hanging around. Okay, so that's why these old things need to be cleared away. These things are keeping their old in space that need to be cleared away for new energies to come in to take up. Okay. 
um, you've also got higher power goddess take a risk okay new beginnings. <laughs> I didn't even see the beginnings if I saw the reflex I let's talk about new energies okay so yes this full moon is preparing you for what is coming this full moon is preparing you for what's coming you guys you might also be stepping into new positions of new understanding of your relationship with your spirit like your spiritual relationship is going to come to the forefront and it's going to be new understanding of your relationship your spiritual relationship literally your relationship with god with your higher self with source with your soul all of those things are starting to take precedence and you're like okay i need to there are some things in my life i'm still holding on to that i need to release for some of you, you are getting like nudges and signs and downloads in your dreams where you're like, mm -hmm. maybe it was a figment of my imagination. It wasn't a figment of your imagination. You are being given signs. There's something about Aries. You guys, you've recently gone through a spiritual awakening and an up leveling of some sort. And now you're at the next level of receiving messages clear and direct from source for yourself. And you're receiving these signs and it's very imperative for you to not it's very imperative you go watch for signs it's very imperative for you to not misconstrue the signs or think less of the signs focus on the signs because they have messages for you for some of you, you might see something in your dream and then in reality in the in the 3d world this thing plays up for you again Pay attention to it, okay? This form is also asking. This form is also kind of like so. What I'm saying, like the old energy is being released, making room for new energies. These new energies are coming in terms of your expansion, in terms of your soul desires, in terms of your not node. So your not node is being activated, and you guys, your careers may also be shifting, especially in terms of where and how you play, okay? So your not node is being activated, and that's what you. Uh, and also do not notice in Aries, okay? So you are being prepared for the next level in your soul journey. And in preparation for this next level in your soul journey, you need to cleanse and release and clear out everything from your past that no longer aligns with who you are now and who you are becoming and who this new version of yourself that is coming in is like, before, okay, so you know like when you are um, upgrading your operating system, if you don't have space, if like the new upgrade is like 20 gigabytes and you have like 10 gigabytes on your device, you need to clear out old files, clutters and all of those. So that's what's happening right now. So you guys, you need, you are needing to download a new upgrade, a new operating system upgrade, but you don't have the space to receive it because they are still holding on to a lot of clutter, a lot of things from the past, a lot of emotional baggages and all of those and that's limiting your capacity for you to receive okay so you need to clear that out declutter delete trash it out and then your 20 gigabyte of new operating system upgraded system is going to load into your consciousness Oof, i'm not sure i caught my breath at all doing that okay but you've got new beginnings opening up for you New beginnings, new beginnings that are in alignment with who you truly are, that are in alignment with your soul truth. Like you guys have been doing a lot of inner work. You've been doing a lot of inner work. And it's time for you to now start seeing the manifestation of your inner work in your 3D reality. For some of you, you are becoming parents for the first time. Traveling for work, having new work experiences, traveling, to, going to a place where... For some of you, like, yeah, okay, so what I'm saying is like undergoing two journeys simultaneously. One is like an emotional journey, like emotional transformation, moving towards someone you love, and then this person moving towards someone you love. This is going to lead you guys to union, and this is like you becoming parents, okay? For those of you that are already in a relationship, this is you taking the second part and then becoming, solidifying your union by becoming parents. You guys creating something together, creating life together that you can both nurture, okay? That you can both nurture. And then the second leg of this new beginning is opening up for you is around your work. So you guys might be like getting offers for, to work in new places where you'll be more, um, more loved, more appreciated, more admired, where people are going to value your contributions a lot more, where you are going to be 
basically rewarded a lot more there's a lot more love for you here there's a lot more blessing a lot more abundance in this new work that is going to be offered to you okay so expect communication on this as well so it's like two things simultaneously are starting off for you aries but you but before you those two before the communication can come in you need to clear out the clutter you're holding on to you need to really release your old mindsets release things from your past and especially first of all see when cleaning out physical clutters for me i was cleaning out physical items discarding broken items old clothes you don't wear anymore those things actually have an energetic vibration okay so clearing out the physical clutter is going to also help you move out to the emotional baggages you're holding on to and then that's going to free up space for your new operating system to be down up is it downloaded or not uploaded for your new operating system to be uploaded into your consciousness when this has arrived you're going to move forward with the conversations for the new work and for your relationship which is going to lead to the babies baby making factory <laughs> you guys are going to be seeing three four sevens okay three four seven and it's interesting three plus five plus seven but this communication is coming in you guys are moving you're yeah, moving for work. I don't see you still being in your same workplace in seven months is even too much. Between three three to four months, you guys will be moving your workplace for work. Going to somewhere where you're more rewarded. And this this is going to feel like a risk. It's going to feel like a risky endeavor, but you're being asked to take the risk at this time. Take the risk at this time. You might also be seeing tigers. Take the risk at this time. This new beginning is all for you. Don't hold yourself back. Okay, you guys might also be seeing tigers at this time. Maybe tiger prints, tigers um, on your phones, in pictures, in videos. Some of you may actually see like see like actual tigers. Okay. All right, but the communication is coming in, but you have told you the work you need to do. So under this home, start the work of decluttering, moving out old energy so that new energies can come into place. All right, my love. All right, everybody, thank you for staying with me and watching all your, watching the readings for your sun, moon, and rising sign. I'm going to end the full moon Taurus messages on this note. I love you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so.